Hey guys, it's Ella. You're back in my channel and for today's video, it is going to be a question and answer video because it's always nice to hear back from what you guys think about my channel and also, you know, some questions that I haven't been answered yet from the past videos that I have published. Some random questions, I'm just going to answer it one by one. I think this is going to be long, so without further ado, let's start. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the setup that I have right now, this is actually my newly painted room which is from pink to white and if you have watched my get to know me video the styling the basics am i right i filmed those kinds of videos in this room which is actually colored pink like annoyingly booming pink so i got it repainted and i'm actually renovating it right now it's in the process i'm filming that process because i wanted to film a room makeover for this room tour so stay tuned to that video so without further ado let's start talaga with this video because these are so many questions and i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to answer everything so i pre-asked some questions from my facebook account which is actually louise payawal so uh first question it is from marie rosary where do you see yourself five years from now so this is actually something na super inspirational and you get to look and reflect this actually made me realize how much future oriented should i be not only like currently oriented do you guys get what i mean because i see myself studying i still studying because studying is a never-ending process we won't stop studying until we die like it's always study 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 and also five years and about first year second year third year fourth year fifth year so maybe i'm taking up my masters maybe in la salle or maybe in usd if god forbids or whatever so yeah i'm so you already see myself you know reading some psychology books drinking my coffee at starbucks i just hope that in five years in the near five years i have completely established the place that i have in the youtube community or the youtube industry because wala pa tayong first year guys we have a long way to go and i really do hope that you will be still there when five years or ten years or 20 years may come you guys will still be there or i hope i will be still filming and stuff and i always see myself at that peak of success because if you won't really see yourself at the top you won't really be at the top you just got to believe in yourself maybe in the next five years you know <laughs> you know maybe i have i am well traveled enough i am financially stable i am economically sufficient efficient i hope my job really does pay me that not really that money but the job that i would really learn to the workplace is good and also the learning process never stops so Oh no, this is from Instagram. Okay. By Clarence Tamayo. Mahirap bang mag-vlog? So basically, it is hard. But when you love that passion so much, it won't be difficult at all. Because the process of filming, the process of editing, na hindi ka naman ginagawa. Thank you, baby, for editing this. The process of editing, filming, creating your content, planning to what to upload the next week. I am really a stressed person kapag dating sa pag-isip ng content because I wanted it to be very accurate, very favorable for my viewers and also watchworthy if that's word. Also wanted to also be fit in the content and my genre and also be inspirational. People will always learn from it. Mahirap talaga mag-vlog but then when you have this striving passion to create content, it won't be really difficult at all. I hope I answered it well. <laughs> Next question is from Mika Ella, and she asked me, "What course po kinuha mo? Love you. Hi, I love you too. My course right now is Bachelor of Science, major in psychology. If you don't know psychology, you probably should because mental health is something that." cannot be taken for granted nowadays. This is a profession that really leans into being an advocate of mental health because it's not just something that you won't shrug off and it's really a matter of where people should really stand by on because it's a serious matter and no one should take it or belittle it just because mental health is not something that big deal. I'm sorry, I'm just asking the course. Let's continue. 
So by James Moscoso. This is classmate, by the way, by my brother. So shout out to you. And he asked, would you rather have a golden voice or have a silver tongue? I don't know what golden voice means. Siguro maganda yung boses. Silver tongue, I know. Uh, it is being able to speak eloquently, articulately, using the proper words. So I would rather have a silver tongue than a golden voice. So, yeah. By Julian Caleb Segundo. So thank you, Jules, for the unending support. If you're watching this, I love you. Gabriel or Luis? Um, probably I would stick with Gabriel because that's the name that I'm used to. And pag tinatawag ko Gabriel, I feel weird and I feel not normal. Basta, hindi lang, hindi lang talaga ako sanay. But I named my channel Gabriel Luis because I don't want to use my surname because, you know, for some personal purposes. Next question by Andrea Prehula. Do you shave or wax your armpits? So, before I tried to shave it because, you know, part of puberty, you're curious. So, you want to get rid of the hair. I shaved it and it didn't resulted that well. So, nag-chicken skin siya because that's how my skin reacts. I stopped shaving and stick to waxing. Next question. Oh, from Ate Isai Santos Esguera. Uh, she asked me, people who inspire you. Uh, basically, the person who asked me this question is someone that I am very inspired because she is so, 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 so great with arts and I really love her art style. And pag nakikita ko talaga yung mga artwork niya, it really does motivate me and it makes me want to have that ooze to create art, love the art, support the art. Other people that I am inspired to in fashion is Ashley from Best Dress. If you guys know her, you should watch her channel because she's perfect. And I really get some tips and advices from her. I really do look up to her because she's just amazing. Like, hilarious. Her videos are just on point. The editing is so on point. She's just great with talking. She has great sense of fashion. Everything is... Next question. Okay. From Kurt Cedric. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for supporting me, Kurt. I really do see you. Like, got a video. He has a comment and I really do appreciate it. If you would go to Hogwarts, which class would be your favorite and why? So, I've always wanted to be a Slytherin because my heart really do belong to Slytherin. I don't know. I feel like I'm not really brave in Gryffindors. I'm not really brave in Ravenclaws. I'm not really as kind and humble as Hufflepuff. I really do belong in Slytherin because that's my ass. That's where my ass belongs. Next question is, ano po masasabi mo sa nangyayari now from Hannah Kim Gonzalez? Which part of it? Is it political? Is it economical? Is it environmental? I don't know. I don't know how to answer this. Because <laughs> it's not specific, pero how will I answer this? Okay, um, ano po masasabi mo sa nangyayari now? Siguro yung sa Taal Volcano na lang because it's really an, a matter that really involves the whole country but not just the whole country because the Pacific Ring of Fire really does affect the world. It's an eye-opener for us because we should really be intended to focus our attention to the nature and not just because of the economical progress but also the natural progress. People really do blame PVOX for you know, not predicting the volcano is just that the same as the earthquakes. You cannot predict a volcano eruption. And ano pa? Bakit ano pa ng sense ng pagblame? Because it already happened. The best thing you can do is just to donate to people that are affected by it. Mula nang si Handy ba? It's no, there's no one to blame for. We actually donated some clothes, many many clothes. Nagdeklotter ako ng closet because I have to make up some space for my room. We donated like a truck of clothes because and dami talaga guys as in super duper dami or one fourth of it was donated to the people of Taal. Okay, next question. It's from Sofia Perez. Kung magiging ulam ka, ano yun at bakit? <laughs> shout out na din. So shout out to you and your question is a bit, you know, funny and creepy all at the same time. But yung magiging ulam ako, gusto ko maging nilaga. Charles! <laughs> And I favorite ko kasi nilaga, guys. Wala. Gusto ko lang yung boiled, yung pagkakaboil ng beef, super lambot. And so, so great with patis at kalamansi. And also sinigang. Pero hindi ako maasim, no? 
I'm gonna go. Next question. What can you say about the haters saying negative things about you in your vlogs? I love this question. It's from Melody Joy Lobo. Actually, I don't really mind them at all. It doesn't really dwell that much on me. Pag narinig ko siya, then out of it. I take my criticism seriously, but those na hindi naman talaga criticism, it's just plain hate. I don't really mind it at all. Pero kung criticism, I would really take up that criticism and learn from it. But people who are really commenting on my hairline just because it bothers them, I don't really care at all. I have years that I have built up this confidence and only for it to be crushed down just because that comment got into me. It won't happen at all. And if it bothers you, just click out of the video and stop watching me. It's that easy, diba? My hairline is this, and your hairline may be whatever, but yeah, this is my hairline, so you don't get to say about it, say anything about it, because it's not your hairline. From Serge Casareo, this is actually a friend of my boyfriend. He's been watching my vlogs ever since. He's been a real supporter and I really do commend you for watching my videos. And also some of his classmates that are really really supportive. So shout out to everyone and I hope you will still continue watching. From him, so he asked me, What is the most important lesson you've learned in your life? And how would you apply it? to your time as a student and as a YouTuber. Sobrang, ano neto ah, parang mind-opening, heartwarming, inspirational, TED Talk vibes. But really though, I haven't really thought of that particular lesson in my life. But I always have in mind what my mom would always say to me whenever things really do go wrong. I just got to weigh my priorities because that's the thing. Eh? If you will really balance the fact that you're I'm a scholar at UE and also I'm a part-time YouTuber, you really just gotta weigh that balance. But then you always have to have to have to uplift yourself way between the two which ways you must mabigat. And as for me, Education is more important than having this kind of career and I always 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 prioritize on becoming a student first before I become a YouTuber or an influencer. It's always a matter of time management, it's always a matter of weighing your priorities and always 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 be in the focus because if you're not then everything will just go wrong and we don't want that to happen. I hope you learned something today. This is my TED talk. Good night. I hope I answered your question that well. I'm not really good at answering some quick snap question. Go, go, go. Maybe if I'm doing an essay, maybe I could pour my heart out in this question. But yeah, not today. From Sumambong Drin. Oh, this is my boyfriend. Can I see a bang silu? You're probably going to see again my full bangs. Maybe mid-February or maybe at the end of January because I always, always, always put it back from time to time because I miss it, my boyfriend loves it that much, and people are always, you know, pinapansin lagi hairline ko, so yeah, I'm gonna give you my full back. Next question, from Meets Lizeth. So I'm gonna edit ng pictures na pinapost mo sa IG. By the way, I'm your fan since day one. So thank you, thank you so much. Mids. I edit my photos at my number one app, VSTO. You probably know it. It's an editing app that everyone loves. Visco. Yeah, I'm such a big ass Visco girl. <laughs> so yeah, dun lang talaga ako nage edit. Pinurchase ko pang ayon ni nila yung premium package nila because I love it so much. Visco is the key. If you want a video of how I edit my photos, just comment it down below. Maybe I'll do it. Next question. Minibining Aire. I don't know how to pronounce it. Is it Glenn or Gwen? Um, this is actually my two siblings. And one's a boy, one's a girl. Gwen's the girl. Glenn's the boy, actually. Why should I choose? I'm not supposed to choose between my siblings. <laughs> but siguro pang personally, I'm closer with Gwen. But when times when I really need somebody na kampiko, si Junior talaga. 
Junior is Glenn, by the way. Close naman kaming tatlo, really. Pero mas close ko si Gwen, but in some ways, mas close ko si Glenn. I don't know. Siguro balance, both. I'll choose them both. And actually, this is Gwen's phone, so she, she trusted her whole heart with me. I'm not reading your conversations or whatever. Next question. Would you recommend buying brush pens online? If yes, can you recommend some? It's from Christine Reyes. Thank you, Christine. I don't really recommend buying brushes online because I know it. I'm practical, and I know it's much more, much, 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 much more cheaper or no, much cheaper online. But then you gotta experience the quality that it provides you. Because if you don't really enjoy it, guys, it's hard to get it. Because once you see the picture, is it really soft? Is it Brittle? Is it easy to get loosened? Ang hirap talaga mag-decide whether to buy art stuffs online. I really do recommend to buy it firsthand, like sa National Bookstore. Corona Bookstore has a lot of brushes from different points. Yon yun lang naman yung dalawa kong pinagbibilhan ng brushes. That's my artwork, by the way. If you guys do see it, but I'm not actually showing it. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you should buy online. But for me, I don't really do that, so maybe you should, you know, consider buying it, like, personally. Next question. From JP De Los Reyes. Pangasaran na question. Ano po pangalan nyo? My name's Gabriel Luis Payawal. Thank you. Epal ka. From Alex Ancheta. Paano maging fresh katulad mo? <laughs> Guys, hindi ako fresh. If you do really see my face right now, it's actually oil, not highlighter, not really sun-kissed glow, but it's just my oily face. I stay fresh. Oh, I stay fresh. I stay fresh and sariwa because I always set my face with the Rose Water Glow Mist from Lux Organics. It's just a good final spritz from your way out the door and you want to make your makeup stay in place, stay intact as you go throughout the day. It really does deliver its performance. Next question. What salon do you go to? It's from Lorraine. I go to the, if you guys know this, if you are from Balik Balik, baka alam nyo. It's the salon called Del Valle Salon. Meron silang branch here near in Hollet Unity. I don't know. I'm not sure with street. Bohol ata yun. And then, may isa pa silang branch in Welcome sa may G Tuazon. I really do trust those artists because ang galing talaga nila, promise guys. And for an affordable price, you won't really... Doon ako nagpapahighlights, nagpapabangs, nagpapagupit. And when nung nag-18 ako, may debut, my hair was made by them. Next question. If you're given the chance to take a vacation to some place in Waiwa, thank you, Mika. This is from Mika Suryano. She's my good, 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 good friend in college. I've always had the dream to travel Amsterdam, Paris, and USA, of course, and also Bali, Indonesia. It's really my top four, and out of all those, siguro pinaka pinaka gusto ko talaga mag travel in Amsterdam, next in Paris, next in US. Soon, siguro, we'll make that happen. Next question. It's from Mark Luis. So Mark Louise, classmates, a friend of my sister, he's been watching all of my videos ever since. Thank you so much, Mark, for watching this video. Who knows you better with your kapatid? Who knows me better? Siguro si Gwen. When it comes to my personal stories, personal life, hindi naman lahat, but some of it I really do a uh, cuento on her. Kasi minsan talaga sobrang draining at school, sobrang draining in, at life, and paglingon ko nandyan siya, so I got a cuento. So, yun. And vice versa din naman. She always shares her stories with me. And I think it's a good relationship. Pero minsan nag-aawi talaga kami, guys. That's just how my siblings work. In terms of my attitude, feeling ko mas kilala ko ni Junior kapag alam ko alam niya yung gusto ko, alam niya yung, yung mood ko, alam niya. Basta alam niya lahat. Because, I don't know, sabi ko nga kanina, diba? We're both really, really, really close with each other. What else? Oh, that's the last question. Oh. Oh, that's the last question, na guys. I just want to say thank you so much for the continuous and utmost and unbelievable support that you have showed to me ever since my first video. 
this channel has really bloomed into something that I never thought I would have. Yung Shopee haul, guys, oh my god, it's unending views. Grabe talaga. It's like 18,000 views or more. I don't know. I'm still, I'm, I'm still counting. And I'm really, really am proud of myself. Kapag nakakareceive ako ng ganong kaganda feedback. And it really does feel that I am loved. I am supported by many. And it's just a good, great, best feeling. I just want to thank you guys from time to time. And also, thank you so much loves for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really do love sit-down videos like this. And I also hope you guys, you know, like it too. Just comment down your video suggestions. Follow me on my social media accounts. Like this video if you haven't subscribed. Please do subscribe down below. I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye! Hey guys, I'm back again because I forgot to do the shoutouts and I'm supposed to promise them that I have to do the shoutouts. So here are the shoutouts. Number one is Mr. Sean Simbahon. He's a good friend of mine. Thank you so much for the love and support you have for me. And also CEJ. My he's a good friend of my boyfriend. CEJ. EJ Senpai yun at an alalasanya. And uh, also Bianca, if I remember. He's also a good friend of my boyfriend and also si Serge, nas I said earlier, to all the CPE people. And also Francesca Love the Vid, thank you, thank you, love for watching. And also her sister, si Apple Colleen the Vid, thank you also for watching. And RJ Lopez, the most awaited shout out. Thank you so much. Last na talaga tagba, guys. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye! Bakit? Ano? Wait lang. Ay, sa wallet ko kumuha ka ng nandoon yung 350. Oo. <laughs> Shopee delivery. <laughs>